What's going on everybody? Coach Matt coming at you with another video. Now, to get everything started, a lot happened today. It was insane going through the amount of material of things that happened in today's date of baseball. Good, good, good Lord. Now, to get started, I have been seeing some interesting things in spring training. Been seeing six innings, seven inning, eight inning, and even now some nine inning games. I want to know what your guys' take is on those games. Is it appropriate for these major league teams to be setting games at six, seven, eight, nine innings? Or should they be standardized? Say week one, every game is at six innings. Week two is seven. Week three is eight. You get the idea. Because some of these, I, my thought process is some of these players may not get the opportunity to prove themselves if they didn't get the chance. Say, for example, if every game was say eight innings long or, or, or nine innings long. Some of these players may not get a chance to prove themselves. So comment in the comment section down below. Let me know your thoughts. And without further ado, let's get to today's video. Welcome to the Daily Baseball Report. Coach Matt coming at you with another video where all we do is talk baseball and baseball related news. We're on the road to 1K by opening day, so please subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. I would really appreciate it if you would click the share button down below and share it to any one of your social media pages. I would really appreciate that. We're gonna talk about two players that broke protocol for the Cleveland Indians, and that is Fran Mill Reyes and Jose Ramirez. Both of these players are important to this ball club. They're both major league ready players. They're both very good in the major leagues. Jose Ramirez, this is his first violation of protocol. And Fran Mill Reyes, he is now a repeat offender. This is his second time going out and breaking protocol. If you remember last year, Zach Plesak, Mike Clevenger, and uh, Fran Mill Reyes all went out to a nightclub and broke protocol, and but Clevenger has been traded, and Fran Mill was was just disciplined. So, what are your thoughts on what the discipline should be? Because it's currently in the hands of Major League Baseball, and I want to know what you think. Should there be a suspension? Should there be no pay? Should there be both a suspension and no pay? Do you think that is in violation of the contract? I feel like today in the way the world is, with, given that Major League Baseball and all of professional sports are doing this bubble type atmosphere to keep not only the, the players and the staff safe, but also those of people in the community. So what are your thoughts? Comment below. The injury bug has stung again with the Houston Astros. Their top touted pitching prospect, Forrest Whitley, has a sprain in the UCL in the elbow, which will require Tommy John surgery. I know they're searching for a second opinion, but more often than not, when there is a sprain and an initial issue with a UCL ligament, it is almost always going to become a Tommy John surgery. I personally think get the surgery as soon as possible and get on the rehab as fast as possible because that gets you back in the field faster. But that being said, some players think that maybe they can extend and prolong that, get through an entire season, then have it after. I don't know what the thought process is. Every time I've seen this, they eventually wait three, four, five months, then they actually tear it, then they have to go get the surgery, and now they're six months behind schedule uh, than they would have if they were just got the surgery in the beginning. So my thought is Whitley should get the surgery, but that's me. Alex Bregman is also almost back from the injured list. He has a strain in his right hamstring, seems to be a recurring issue for this man. He had the same injury last year that sidelined him, and he definitely was not the same player. He injured it doing a sprint workout during in January during the offseason. And a interesting conundrum happened today in the Baltimore Orioles and Pittsburgh Pirates. Hitter Philip Evans was hitting against pitcher Evan Phillips. And yes, you heard that right. Philip Evans was hitting against Evan Phillips. Kind of reminds me of that one time. Let me show you this one video. The runners will go. There they go. And a high fly ball to left. Back at the wall, it is gone. 
The St. Louis Cardinals' Adam Wainwright made his pitching debut for this year, and it was actually pretty good. He is 39 years old. He had three innings pitch, one hit, one run. That run was earned. No walks, five strikeouts, and he has a 1.8 ERA. Adam Wainwright has been a 20-game winner, and in 2014, he had 20 wins and had a 1.05 whip and a 2.42 ERA, and he didn't win the Cy Young because there was another man by the name of Clayton Kershaw, who was the best player on the planet that day, that year. On the comeback trail for the Detroit Tigers, Casey Mize, he didn't start this game. He actually came in relief, and he pitched two innings. He had zero hits, zero walks, zero runs. He scattered three walks. He had one strikeout, and he still sports a 0.00 ERA. On the other side, again, with the Toronto Blue Jays, Robbie Ray was pitching, and he pitched 2.1 innings, had one hit, gave up one run, that run was earned, two walks, six strikeouts, and sports a 4.15 ERA. You know, Robbie Ray is one of those guys I've just always seemed to forget about. Josh Donaldson and Keon Broxton both hit mammoth home runs today for the Minnesota Twins. The Twins are going to need both of those players to be producing, so that way they can have the best chance at holding on to an AL Central title. And the Atlanta Braves offense finally came alive, powered by Dansby Swanson's bases clearing double. Charlie Morton pitched three innings, gave up two hits, one walk, had three strikeouts, and has a 0.00 ERA. Brett Gardner hit a grand salami today, and Giancarlo Stanton had two doubles for the Yankees in their win over the Philadelphia Phillies. The Philadelphia Phillies pitcher Zach Wheeler yet again did not have a good outing. He had 2.1 innings, gave up four hits, four runs. All four runs were earned, two walks, but he had four strikeouts, and his ERA currently sits at 8.31. Ivan Nova also pitched in this game, and he had two innings pitched. He gave up one hit, had scattered two walks, had one strikeout, and his ERA currently sits at 10.38. So he's actually improving from his previous, you know, 135 ERA or whatever that was. Regardless, we all knew that was going to come back down. Marcus Stroman did not have his best stuff for the New York Mets today. He pitched, he pitched three innings, he gave up three hits, two runs, two, both of them were earned. He had two strikeouts, and he has a 3.6 ERA. How do Mets fans feel about Marcus Stroman? I don't, I can't really get a read on this guy. He has a big mouth. He likes to talk, yet he's not quite backing it up on the field just quite yet. So what do you Mets fans think? Another really interesting thing, the Mets kind of dug out this really impressive player, Jonathan VR. And he kind of reminds me of like a Matt Stairs. He's probably going to be one of those pinch hit, go for, go for broke type hitters. He is six feet tall and 233 pounds. This guy is almost the size of a middle linebacker. And in today's game, he went one for two with a run and three RBIs. And he hit an absolute blast. And uh, he was a free agent, and he started with the Baltimore Orioles and was traded to the Toronto Blue Jays, and from there, he then went to the Dominican and played in the Dominican. I have a feeling him going to the Dominican was a result of, during the 2020 season, the Major League Ball Clubs only kept a couple of minor league players on their, what they would call the taxi squad, or their, um, they had a player, like a, a set of players at the complex ready to go in case there were injuries, and then they basically let go a whole bunch of minor league players. So I think this gentleman is one of those guys who was let go by Toronto and New York scooped him up and looks to me like he's got a good solid swing compact and he hits him a long way when he connects. The Oakland Athletics erupted with four home runs today. We had home runs by Matt Olson, Matt Chapman, Ramon Luriano and Davidson. Speaking of Matt Chapman, Matt Chapman is an ex-Cal State Fullerton alum and on my hat reference and actually my shirt reference, I was a student at Cal State Fullerton. I knew the a lot of the players on the baseball team. I was very fortunate 
to work with the strength and conditioning staff there. And I did get to work with the baseball team. So I did work with Matt Chapman and just a wonderful human being. If you've ever seen him on an interview, Matt Chapman is always very well read and is always well presented in every event I've ever seen him in. So I have nothing but love for the guy and I always wish him well. Sad he did have his surgery a little bit ago, but let's hope that uh, he could repeat his platinum defense and be the best third baseman in all of baseball. The San Francisco Giants offense erupted on Sunday and they were primarily led by this gentleman by Elliot Ramos, who is 21 years old. He hit two home runs and he's from Puerto Rico. Yeah, and he is from Puerto Rico. And he's 21 years old, and he kind of reminds me of Pablo Sandoval a little bit. He has kind of that similar kind of like bent over stance. He just doesn't have nearly as much movement when he walks in the box. Do you remember when Pablo would walk into the batter's box prior to every at bat? Do you remember his routine? Yeah, just he doesn't have that. <laughs> Joey Bart also contributed with a home run and had two hits. So two big prospects for the San Francisco Giants and Elliot Ramos and Joey Bart both had impressive outings. Joey Gallo blasted his fourth home run in five days off of Walker Bueller, no less. And I have a feeling that 2019 Joey Gallo has come to play. 2020 was a turn the page year for that man. I wonder if he's going to be our, our leader in home runs. DJ Peters hit his second home run in his continual quest to make the Dodgers lineup. I do think he may make it. I have a feeling that the Dodgers are going to give him the shot. The Colorado Rockies, Herman Marquez pitched three innings, gave up, he gave up three hits, no earned runs. He had one walk and one strikeout. His ERA is 0.00, .00 and he did all of this against a potent Chicago White Sox lineup. So furthermore, impressive, but I have a feeling that if it was in Colorado, it wouldn't have been those numbers. Giolito had three innings pitch, no hits, no runs, gave up one walk. He had two strikeouts and he sports a 1.8 ERA. Moving up to the north side of Chicago, Jake Arrieta made his start for the Chicago Cubs in his return to the Chicago Cubs. He pitched two innings, one hit, no earned runs, one walk, no strikeouts, and his ERA is 0.00. .00. And making his debut for the San Diego Padres is Yu Darvish. He pitched two innings, gave up one hit, no runs, no earned runs. He had no walks. He struck out four, and obviously he has a 0.00, .00 ERA. The Angels offense erupted for 11 hits and on Sunday, and Otani had one hit, Trout had one hit, and Pujols had two hits, one of them was a double. Without a doubt, that was the most games that had a lot of things that happened in one day I have seen yet in spring training. I just can't wait for those split squad days where the games are literally doubled. But just as a reminder, on Sunday, March 14th, at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, that is 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, I'm me, Coach Matt, is going to go live on YouTube, and I want you all to join. I want to have a great discussion about baseball and just build our community of baseball and baseball questions and baseball answers. You guys can ask any question you want. It'll be super fun and engaging. I can't wait. And without further ado, please subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, like the dang video for the YouTube algorithm. And without further ado, we will see you tomorrow.